Let's talk about these markets here, what we're seeing. You know, a little bit of a halting attempt at a recovery here. We got the 5% pullback in the S&P 500. The ongoing rotation has persisted through this week. What's your take? So my take is this was highly anticipated. We've been um, waiting for broadening out of markets. And, and so what you have now is an economy where growth is slowing a bit, but resilient. And you've got uh, inflation back in the comfort zone. So we get the rate cuts um, this year, maybe uh, probably two, maybe even three by January. And, you know, that starts to normalize the yield curve. And it's obviously broadening out the market. So are you not uh, concerned about what people will throw out there about, well, you know, it's when the yield curve actually uninverts that you have to worry about a recession or we're kind of coming a little bit too close to having unemployment get to uncomfortable levels? Uh, before we get that first rate cut? Is it going to be a close call, I guess? Yeah, I mean, you would look at the, the usual guideposts on a path to a recession, and, and, of course, the inversion of the yield curve is certainly one of them. The, the good news is there's not a lot of leverage in this economy. There is not a lot of cyclical excess in this economy. And, you know, if you look at things like bank lending standards or corporate bond spreads, they're not signaling recession. So, those things would be would be moving in the wrong direction. The job market certainly weakening a bit, albeit from very strong levels. So investors are looking for the Fed to to move ahead. Um, you know, some of us have been saying, you know, let's get going with this. Let's start to ease policy. Um, but look, it doesn't mean we're going to get through this without, you know, some concerns about a growth slowdown. But ultimately, it looks like one where we come on the other side. And the Federal Reserve is able to to move us through uh, without a hard landing. Meantime, as much as there's been some sell on the news response to some big earnings reports, they are tracking pretty well as expected. Beat rates more or less uh, like the historical norm. We're about toward $250 in S&P earnings this year. Now, the expectation for next year is another 10 percent on top of that. Is that believable at this point? And what parts of the market look better positioned? Yeah, it is believable. Um, you know, you, you will see some slowdown, but you're also going to see policy accommodations to support growth. And, and the expectation is likely to be a, a pretty good nominal growth backdrop. And so I think for investors looking out over the next couple of years, um, you know, they may have seen what small caps or value have done in, in the recent days and wonder if they miss it. I mean, small cap rallies off of bottoms tend to you know, last a handful of years and you could see pretty significant gains. So this is likely just the beginning. If we can get through, uh, as we believe we will, without an economic recession and the Fed normalizes the curve, um, you know, that is going to create a better backdrop for, for companies and, and should, should have a, a, a reasonable nominal growth environment to support earnings. Yeah, I suppose nominal growth is still going to be, you know, 5%-ish uh, at this pace uh, for a bit. Uh, thanks a lot, Brian.